Hey, what's up guys? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads. And today we're going to be checking out Slayin' 2, which comes to us from FDG Entertainment. Uh, this is a game that the original Slayin' was on iOS. And I played the ever-loving mess out of it. It was such a fun game. Kind of a roguelike, in a certain way, endless dungeon crawling enemy destroying RPG where you can unlock different characters and get all kinds of things and obviously you're seeing some of those characters now including the unicorn princess or whatever that was and today we're going to just take you in from the start of the game this one unlike the iOS version actually has a story and has some stuff going on behind the scenes which I think is pretty cool uh, and so you can see here from the very beginning, you can go to story mode, or you can play in the traditional arcade mode like the um, like the the iOS game before it. And then there's some options here as well, though not too much. Let's just get right into story mode. And here in the story mode, we're going to check out the prologue and a couple of extra levels. You'll notice there's lots of characters that you could change through. Uh, different weapons you can buy and unlock and charms as well you can also uh, in this you can also hit the A button to change colors I prefer the blue tunic uh, guy here so let's just dive right in meet the harpy she's hello brave adventurer heard you're pretty good in the heat of battle slaying enemies is as simple as running through them with your sword show me what you got so yeah you are just going to run back and forth and kill these enemies. And you'll notice treasure comes out. You definitely want to get that treasure. More impressive skills. Build up your spark bar to use those and press the Y button. So let's try that out. Oh yeah. Use spark attack to jump. Or press B to jump. Oh yeah. Kill these flying snakes gotta get these snakes off this plane switch planes press R to switch planes now we're in the background that comes in handy battling bosses and things later get a key maybe oh speed up there's my key Lots of treasure there. And a defense up. More enemies are approaching, so I need to get out of here. Check it out in the pause menu. Okay, cool. So you'll notice at the top of the screen, you have a number of enemies that you have to defeat. Usually this is the number of enemies you have to defeat before the boss shows up. So once the boss shows up, you'll beat it. No matter how many enemies are on the screen, they'll all disappear. And then in the level. Up. Oh. Oh, here's the boss right on time. Slime face. I don't know what he's saying. But we're just going to run into him until he dies. How about that? Or turns into smaller slimes. Area clear. You get a lot of treasure out of this last dude. And you're going to use that treasure later on to purchase upgrades and also uh, rebuild a town you come to. We're going to level up here. Level up two, level almost level three. But that's kind of the gist of the game. And along the way you'll unlock other characters and different routes and all kinds of things and maps and all this was not in the original game. Which you can still find on iOS and it's still a whole lot of fun. I just prefer using an actual physical controller. I'm sure many of our watchers do too. And you'll notice that as I kill enemies, I'm uh, getting a bonus there at the top. And after a while, this is going to explain this, when your slain combo gets high enough, enemies start to drop treasure, and eventually they'll drop treasure chests and other upgrades as well because of this. So see, now I'm getting gold coins, will eventually work up to getting other stuff as well. 
in the original game, getting gold would heal you. Uh, I do not think that that is the case in this one. Notice, now I'm getting bigger gold coins. And eventually, I'll probably get some relics and things like that. Also, if you get hit, that combo goes back as well. Don't be like me. Remember to use your spark, especially during bosses. I have a slime Venus de Milo. I don't know. split into slimes too. But we're going to use a spark to beat them because it might give us extra stuff. Like the holy hand grenade or whatever it just dropped. And that's the end of level two. We're going to move on here. So this is a great, fun, quick little game to jump into that actually has some depth to it. And I really enjoy that. It's been a huge, it's a huge upgrade over the very first one. Now we're going to go into the town. And go into the town, and obviously the town has been destroyed. The town's in ruins, army of rogues has come through here and destroyed everything. And eventually what you'll be able to do is use your gold to rebuild all these buildings. Obviously a bad place. The forge is still open. Well, there we go. So what we want to do here is begin to upgrade our sword. Or you can buy Lightfoot's dagger, uh, which will, you know, allow you to do different things. And later on you'll unlock a mace and other things, but here I think it might be good if we Increase the amount of spark as well as the number, the amount of combo time. That will help us in the long run. We'll run down through here. Here's the grave digger. Castle to the east. So, guess where we're headed? Yep. We're gonna go into the forest. Newly upgraded weapon. Let's see how that works out. I bet you we have to fight some slimes. I don't know, floating skulls. Not doing too good at keeping the combo timer here. Especially now that we've added birds and all kinds of other stuff going on up here. Definitely want to get the key in case the chest comes out. Defense up. Close enough. Alright, here we go. Now we'll get the chest to get some food. Oh, we got blue slimes out now. Those take two hits. Boss time. Oh, yeah, it's the troll. Ah. Not doing too well. There we 
go. Kind of reminds me of uh, the first Harry Potter movie there. They fight the troll. Troll bogeys. Alright, so we're still heading out here toward the castle. Be there in just a second. The castle area earlier when I was playing was kind of where the game actually started to get harder. And here we meet the sorceress who is an extra character that you can unlock. She has a double jump and a wind power that uh, you'll be able to buy her off later on and have her adventure with you or in your place. Spiders. And that's just really because I just I hate spiders in real life. But also because they shoot arrows and they're just generally annoying. Ugh. versus reward if you haven't noticed it's like how fast can I go how many hits can I manage to take and still maintain this rocking combo meter uh. oh finally oh this is the tree guy he is difficult. Almost there, almost there. Yeah, boy. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Well, guys, that is Slay into. It's out on Nintendo Switch exclusively on May 7th. It comes out this week. I believe it's going to be $9.99 or $11.99. I think there's a little bit of a, a pre-sale or something going on. But you can check that out. FDG Entertainment did a fantastic job updating, renovating, making this one more meaty for console release. I'm happy to own it, happy to play it. Would have bought it even if we hadn't got a review copy. And so if you're looking for just a quick to jump into, um, easy to play, RPG adventure this is for you you will love it and so I hope that you've enjoyed this video keep checking Nintendo dads out for all kinds of reviews news all that stuff and hope you have a great day we'll see you later bye bye